gonna do something a little different today. I wanted to make it sort of a discussion, vlog type video. And yeah, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Well, now we're getting to somewhere sort of quiet, so we can start off this vlog. What I really wanted to talk about was like mini pumps versus CO2 cartridges. I know that sounds a little ridiculous, and I'll, I'll be nitpicking a lot during this little video, but I'm just surprised so many people run around with CO2 cartridges, especially because you need a 20 gram to even fill up a mountain bike tire, and you probably need a second just to top it off, just to make sure you're at the right pressure. So each CO2 20 gram cylinder is actually, I think it's like 60 grams, 59, 60 grams for like a Genuine Innovations one. So why are people running those when a mini pump weighs 80 grams and it's more than a one-time use? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get it. And I know I've said this a bunch of times. I know my subscribers are probably getting sick of it, but uh, fractured my patella about two months ago. So that's why I'll be doing these rides on the road for a bit. If you're not subscribed, you'll, you'll see some vlogs on some dirt. But yeah, for now, all I can do is like wheelies. So I can barely even stand up and pedal. So that's kind of what we got for now. Yeah, hopefully the style of video is entertaining for you guys and I look forward to doing more. They're pretty fun and I'm not using the chest mounted gimbal because do you really want to be rolling through town with a gimbal on your chest filming the road? I mean, helmet cam is bad enough. I have some dignity. Oh, dirt. I will say this enduro is extremely playful. Pretty stoked on it so far. If you haven't seen the bike, definitely look at some of my previous videos. I just posted some, and I just finished the bike, I think, two days ago. So yeah, check that out. The spank pedals are squeaky. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. But back to the topic. We were talking about CO2 versus miniature bike pumps. So I forgot the name of it, but Lazine makes like an 80 gram pump. And if not 80, there's a bunch of companies that make like 80 to 120 gram pumps. It's pretty light considering your water bottle, 20 ounce water bottle, weighs 1.3 pounds, which is about 600 grams. So when you think of it that way, the pump is really not 
any weight you should be complaining about. But I guess my little rant today is about how you get a flat on the trail. Everyone seems to have CO2s these days. I don't know why someone's in such a rush to change their flat. I mean, if you're running some Maxxis tires, you only get flats like never or just once in a while. So I don't know. I'm not racing. I'm not competing. Well, I guess I am racing, but I'm not competing for a world title. So I don't know. I just don't see the urgency of a uh, CO2 really paying off and those little uh, heads to them, the nozzles or whatever, if they have the spring, they get all, oh, that's windy. Why are you squeaking pedals? Yeah, if you have the spring, sometimes those can fail. So I always like to use those like yellow genuine innovations ones that have no moving parts. Wow, it is a windy day. I apologize. Hopefully this wind mic is at least doing something. So where was I? Oh yeah. So CO2s weigh 60 grams and you usually would carry two of them. So let's say 120 grams and they take up space, they rattle. So why not just get a mini pump? Since I have the SWAT door on this thing, I'll be able to put it down there with my tube. It'll wedge in there pretty nicely so it won't make noise. I guess all I'm saying is the CO2 and the applicator weigh the same as a mini pump and their mini pumps are multiple time uses. So I don't know, I'm just an advocate and I want people to get off the train thinking everyone's a professional racer. I guarantee you can't hear any of this. It's so loud. I don't know why I'm pedaling on flat road in the wind. A little miserable, but I'm on a bike. So yeah. I'm a big advocate of the mini pump and I just wanted to talk about that. I want to know your guys' opinions too because I know a lot of you use CO2s and if you'd like to share like why that's your preference and what kind of space you have to work with and maybe that's why you use them because they are a little bit smaller and you could even pop them in the bottom of your uh, one-up tool. We only get one. There's not enough space for all of them. So that's my little complaint. By the way, super happy with this tool. I've already used it because my first ride I started adjusting all my cockpit and everything and super easy tool and the tool's high quality too. All the Allens are, they snap right into place. They're not like a specialized, it's fairly loose. Yeah, so if you guys would like to answer in the comments, do you use CO2s because of convenience, because it's fast? Or uh, did what I just said make you want to switch to the mini pump? Um, definitely think the mini pump looks a little stupid on the outside of your bike. I, I agree with that. It's not cool, but that's why you get a SWAT down tube. But yeah, I don't know. Just a little rant I had. I was thinking about it today and I was looking up weights. I'm like, why do people not use them? I don't know. It makes sense in my head. But yeah, that goes down to talking about my channel a little bit. I'm not like all the other channels. I don't just do POVs of different trails. I mean, I do a couple, but you can look at other uh, channels for that. I mean, now you have like 50 to 100 just doing the same thing. But yeah, I like to tell you guys how to optimize your bike. Like I did videos on different types of brake pads and I actually ran mixed brake pads for a while um, until I found out I could just buy semi-metallics from a secondary or third party for the Shimano Saints. But yeah, I just like to talk about optimizing the setup and even with storage, like the one-up tool, the SWAT door. Um, I'm gonna do a video about my everyday carry. I've seen it on like men's fashion channels and stuff, but it's like, what's my everyday carry when I go out on a ride? I think that'd be really interesting for you guys. So Chico's actually, it can be beautiful. I know it's farmland and then once you get in the hills, it's all lava cap, but certain days like this, I'm a fan of it. A little windy, but a fan of it. So we were talking about optimization of parts. So not just storage, but even down to bike setup, like I do kind of some unique stuff. Like I got the 170 fork on this 29er and then even down to, I mixed my drivetrain. So I got a SRAM cassette on the XTR drivetrain. And that's just cause the SRAM cassette, the teeth are a little taller. It keeps the chain on a little better. 
it's a lot lighter than an XT, a lot cheaper than an XTR. And yeah, I just like how it mounts on the XT driver. You guys usually see me hating on Tram, but I will say their cassette is probably the best in the market. I didn't like the 10 tooth to begin with, just because it's like pedaling a square. So when all, all those people commented about, oh, why didn't you get the E13 cassette? Well, first of all, the spacing is ridiculous. So going through the gears, you always feel like you're in the wrong gear. And then that nine tooth, that's gotta be pedaling. Like imagine how many teeth are actually engaged. It's probably like four teeth. Think about that, four teeth are engaged while you're pedaling. First of all, it will pedal like crap, but second of all, it's just, yeah, it's sketchy. It could slip, probably wouldn't slip, but just thinking about it scares me. <laughs> so that's not a good thing. Oh, we're going on dirt. I'm kind of digging these hand-up gloves. Whew, so windy. Whew, it's quiet, kind of. Maybe if I go down one of these side streets, it will quiet down. So we were talking about hand-up gloves. They're actually really cool gloves. They feel just like my Troy Lee's. Maybe a little bit comfortable, more comfortable. They have this big, like, nose like wiper that you can get your snot all over but it feels pretty good so far um i'm a fan of them i i would wear them uh, they sent them to me to actually test them out i think they've been sending them to a lot of youtubers lately but that just means they're a really cool company they're willing to expand they see the value and promotion on youtube and they've supported some good guys like brian over at bkxc and alex at the single track sampler and yeah so far i think it's a quality product and I wouldn't mind supporting them even more and hopefully we can come up with a design. Um, would you guys buy those gloves? If I had a Alex Chamberlain specific design, it would help me out, it would help hand up gloves out and yeah, just be another way to make some more money and hopefully keep this channel rolling. <coughs> also they would look really cool. But unfortunately they would match my bike so I hope you guys like that. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so windy. So, so windy. But yeah, I've been doing these road rides just to strengthen myself up. My knee is pretty much healed. I'm obviously not supposed to crash on it because that would be pretty painful. But yeah, we're just doing these road rides, strengthen my knee a little bit. And that's my biggest thing is I can't really go off road because I can't squat right now. I can't, going upstairs is still painful. So. I just need to build up that muscle. I lost so much not doing anything for two months. Dang, it came to this pump track, but apparently it rained too much. And uh, just wanted to see if I could even pump. But, aw, oh, see, the dirt's fine. That guy's using RC cars on it. But yeah, I just wanted to get out, build some muscle, and have a good time. Honestly, being out for two months, just riding your bike down the road, it feels so good. But I ended up. I mean, this is kind of an original idea. I know moto vloggers do this and yeah, just riding and talking, but I wanted to try it. And especially I watched this channel, it's called a uh, big truck, big RV. <laughs> no, that's a kind of redneck sounding channel. And <laughs> yeah, but I like it. I, I was driving a diesel for a while, so I kind of got into the channel, but yeah, he just talks a lot while driving down the road. He literally just drives through Texas on street roads, not doing anything crazy. and. Yeah, he just has some quality information to talk about and it's entertaining and he actually got a pretty big following this year. So I thought I'd try my hand at it. Um, I kind of like doing it. I know it's just a helmet cam and you guys might not dig it because you can't see the bars the whole time. But it's the easiest way for me and it keeps my mind on what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about the gimbal the whole time. And that's why I don't do a lot of POVs. It kind of ruined the riding experience. And I don't know. Now, I'm, I'm supposed to be bringing you a good experience. I'm not not really supposed to be like, oh yeah, just not in that good of a mood because I'm talking about the gimbal. So, fortunately, helmet cam works for me. And yeah, especially when you go down steep trails, you end up hitting the gimbal anyways. And it gets all off center. Just seeing a lot of videos. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this. And I wish I could do one-handed wheelies. Oh, kind of. Those are still hard, not that good. 
But I don't know, do you guys think we should post that track? I know it says closed, and you know, it's kind of a dick move, but I don't know, it's not really soft, it, it looks pretty fine to ride, but maybe I should be a law-abiding citizen, especially when I have a camera on top of my head. So yeah, sorry I'm dragging this on a little bit, but that was the video, hope you guys liked it. If you guys are interested, if you're not subscribed already, definitely click that button. I Again, for the millionth time, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next ride. I'll be trying to post a few of these, and actually, comment below if you have any topics you want me to discuss. I'm a pretty opinionated guy, so it could be entertaining. Wow. The wind and my lack of core is making wheeling hard today. All right. I won't take you guys' time any longer. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.